we need to get more women and girls involved. We've seen a huge amount of growth in the girls and women's game in the last number of years. The non-competitive places like today are, are a great way for women just to go back on the pitch and start playing again. There's people here, I, I've met them here today, who, who were previously played and they're, they're now coming back to the game. There's people who've never played. So it's a great outlet for people to get out. My name is Jim Keating. I'm the secretary of the Eastern Women's Football League. Uh, our league covers the Dublin area and the surrounding counties. The top of our Premier Division is very, very competitive. It's, it's one division below the National League, so that kind of standard. But we also go down to we've Premier 1, Premier 2, League 1, League 2, League 3. We've also then identified that there's another group of players, you know, uh, mothers, uh, players that have played before, or players that are just want to in, you know, get in, in, sort of introduce themselves into football, and that we didn't really have a level for them. So the recreational sort of uh, teams that are springing up all over the Dublin region, you know, is another outlet for them. So and from our point of view, we're also getting competitive teams out of them, you know, and they come and they play recreational for a year. They realise how competitive they are and then want to go, you know, progress into a competitive team. The reason I set up the recreational team is because I was looking at my own daughters playing and I used to play myself years ago, I haven't in a long time. And I just thought, you know, there's probably lots of other women out there who would like to maybe get back to doing some sort of more for a social element, you know, to get back out, try and get fit again. Um, so I just, I just decided to put the word out there and we went from six ladies right up to 30. The benefits are un unbelievable. The ladies that we have, a lot of them are new to Cook so they wouldn't have known anyone socially. So it was their way of coming up and, and getting to know people around the town. Some are from foreign countries. Um, a lot of women who had played before had children and now are coming back to the sport. We actually just opened it up to everybody that wanted to come out. A lot have never played sports before and um, it was just great to see so many women coming out and taking part. I feel that this club and where we're at now with girls and ladies football and what we've done to promote it, with the support we've had from the executive committee, has helped our club to get where it is today in relation to ladies and girls football. And I. It would be great to see that if other clubs could get a couple of coaches on board to start up girls and ladies sections, that there's no reason why this couldn't be replicated um, in, in, a, in any club in any town.